Um, so, hi guys, Rebecca Alvey. Um, this is kind of an impromptu vlog that I'm starting. It's like, I don't know, like 3 a.m. or something like that. Um, and I'm, I'm in bed. I'm in bed because I've, my desk is kind of a mess right now. Um, just because I let it get that way with stuff going on lately. Um, so I'm currently like just hanging out in my bed, working on stuff right now. Um, probably been this like this for a week, but it's fine. Um, I actually don't mind it. I feel like I'm able to um, kind of get a little more organized over here. And you know, sometimes you just need a change of scenery as much as you can get when the world's crazy like this. Um, I don't have a car or any way to get anywhere, so I can't like go right in coffee shops or anything. I literally just have to move around my house. Um, and from the desk, which is over there, uh, to the bed is <laughs> about all I can handle right now. Um, but it's not awful. I like the setup I have over here. Um, I actually have all of my planner stuff in this little cabinet on my bed because my bed has this awesome kind of things. There's Luna and just a bunch of random stuff. Um, so I'm working on like getting this yeah, organized to where I want it. Um, so yeah, um, I did not actually start the vlog to be like, hey look, I'm in a different spot in the room. It's really as you can see the cover that I never revealed, but it's fine because it's not the official cover anymore. Um, I gotta take that board behind me down because I'm not using it for what I was using before. Um, this is actually the start of a vlog slash series of vlogs. If the camera just ran a fall, I feel like it might have. Sorry if the camera randomly moves. I literally have my phone like sitting on my computer. It's not a great setup. But, um, I don't have the little um, clip thing that lets me put my phone on my tripod right now. I don't know where it went. Um, so yeah, this is just how I'm going to work today. Uh, so yeah, this vlog, I'm like through this in the video and I'm filling it around what the vlog's actually about. Um, this is going to be a vlog slash series of vlogs I'm going to do over the next couple months. Um, where I'm plotting slash replotting things. Um, I got to the point in Nirvana with certain stories where I'm like, I don't want to write them. And I, I have them fully plotted. I just, like, I know there's something wrong with the plot as it is, but if I go through and read the plot that's, that's there, it's like, no, this is right, this is what I need, you know? Like, because it's all there in order, I can't see what's missing, so I've kind of made the choice to restart uh, plotting, so like, pretending I think I have nothing plotted, and starting over from scratch. Um, and I'm doing that with potentially others, but I'm starting with four. No, that's not true. I'm replotting two stories to kind of test out some stuff, and then I'm plotting two new stories, and they're all in the Amana universe. Um, plus two stories that I'm not really gonna. T well, I might talk about them. Um, <laughs> we'll see, but not tonight. Um, not in this little intro vlog thing. Just a lot of things, but um, so I'm doing replotting Keyleth and I'm replotting. Uh, uh, sorry, trying to remember later. I think it was Jacqueline, was the other one I was doing. There's the calendar. Yeah, I'm doing Keyleth, Jacqueline, Natalia, and Isabel. Are my Amato ones? Um, well, technically, I have Natalia plotted. So I guess that's another replot, um, but Isabel has never been plotted before that I know of. But what I decided to do, um, because... No, I lied. Everything I have plotted is either plotted using, um, Sarah Cannon's plot workbook or with Save the Cat. Um, there's a lot of overlap between those. Um, but yeah, and those are the things that I'm having trouble, like, being like, okay, let's rate this. 
And I don't know if it's the way they're plotted or or what. Um, or if there's just something genuinely wrong with the lot. But um, what I've decided to do to remedy the situation is one, replot the stuff, um, and two, I'm going to test out several different plot styles. Oh um, man, actually, I need this back. Come here, dear. Come here, dear notebook. So I'm gonna replot Keyleth using the um, Hero's Journey, kind of kind of like the story circle thing. It's kind of like a hybridization of that um, that I found. Then I'm going to replot Jacqueline using um, the fairly uncatty tastic channel. It's the um, like 3x, 9 some, 9 blocks, 27 chapters, I don't remember what it's called. The Kenny-tastic method, method, because I've seen it before and I'm intrigued by it, but I never actually, like, managed to work on plotting anything with that. Um, so I'm going to do that way. Um, the one that I'm excited slash terrified for is, um, for Natalia, I'm going to plot her using the snowflake method. method. Now, I used the snowflake method once before in my life, and it was way back, like, probably ten years ago, when I very first started working in Amana, back when I thought it was going to be, like, one single storyline and one single, like, point of view and not the insanity that it has become. Yeah, so that's what I do. And then I'm going to actually try again with the heart breathings method, and I'm going to do that with Isabel. Um, and then one other thing that I'm going to do, I guess I am going to talk about the other story. Um, so, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of the new Kendall Vela thing that's come out recently, um, where they do serial, the, the Kindle serial story things. Similar to like Wattpad or is it Radish? I, I don't, I haven't used that one so much. Or, um, and I've been kind of playing with the idea of writing like, a serial story for like a long time. I just never actually like <laughs> just like decided what the story was and to officially write it. So I've actually really randomly come up with that idea. I think it could work as a serial that I'm going to be working on. Um, it doesn't have a title. I'm literally just calling it the Bella story because I'm intending to post it on Kindle Bella. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be plotting that and it's going to be a fake two point of views. I'm not 100% sure on that um, yet because this is, I mean it's still very much in the brainstorming phase. So, the plotting may not even happen anytime soon. But I'm going to stick kind of with Save the Cat for that. But I'm going to do it a little differently. Um, I'm sure you've seen, and I will try and put an image of it up here somewhere, um, the J.K. Rowling plot grid thing that she showed, like how she plotted out part of, I think it was The Order of the Phoenix. It's been a while since I've looked at it. But, um, actually I have my computer right behind me, why don't I, right behind the phone when I look at it. Yep, so I'm going to try and kind of do it that way, where I'm kind of using the Save the Cat beats, more or less, but also, um, I want to plot both storylines concurrently, because there's going to be a whole lot of overlap, um, as far as they're, the two point of views that I have right now are twins, they're siblings, and while they do get separated several times in the story, like, I feel like I really need to plot both of them at the same time and where I can see both plots together really easily. So I'm going to try that. I'm kind of, like I said, kind of using the same of the cat beats, but doing it in the story grid kind of way. And plus there's other stuff around the world, there's storylines that I'm kind of thinking about already later. Like, I don't want to go too specific because this again is brainstorming, like, I've got all these ideas and I don't know how they're going to come together. 
if they're gonna come together. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of planning on doing the uh, Save the Cat combined with a story grid type situation for that. Um, so yeah, those are all the things. So um, I'm going to be vlogging my journey through outlining. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to specifically like um, do one plot one character per vlog and talk about that one type of outline. Excuse me, or if I'm going to kind of um work on all of them a little bit at a time. I haven't decided. Um, I did start working on Keyleth today, which is what prompted me to, to do this intro. I'm like, wait a second. I've already started plotting and I haven't started the vlog yet. I should probably fix that. Um, so I'm using... So I have started her today and I've actually got... I don't know how far in this is. I think about half of Act 1 kind of vaguely plotted and like what I have right now is like I have just like like for your right like you got the ordinary world the call to adventure the refusal to call the, 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 you know the various plot points so I've just got a big paragraph as the ordinary world and I'll eventually go back in and break it down into specific scenes and whatnot um so yeah like so I've got like half of it done but it's just a very vague kind of kind of brainstorming like what I think goes into this section and this Keyleth is a story if you watched my my um my vlogs for camp you know technically I've written it technically I've also written Jacqueline but um in both cases the entire story whoa sorry <sighs> but in both cases of those stories the entire story is like um for each of those is 20,000 words, which, I mean, I guess I could just make them novellas, but I don't want them novellas. I want them novellas because I know there's enough story there. And the fact is there's bridging scenes that I know we do in there, but I don't know how to put them in. Because it's like, when you already have the music completed, it's hard for me, at least, to add stuff in when I know what I have there already. Like, it makes sense. <laughs> Like, I could just edit it and publish it as it is, and it's the entire story, and it would work, but it's not what it needs to be. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. I hope I'm not just rambling. I'm probably just rambling. So that's kind of why I'm like, I need to just start from scratch with the plotting, and then again, start from scratch with the writing. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm doing, and I'm... So I'm just right now going through and each plot point I'm just spewing out everything I know needs to go in there. And it's going, going really quickly for Kim because I've already written and I know kind of vaguely. Like I know what the midpoint is already. I know certain, I guess, I know certain things. And where they go, and I just need to kind of flesh out around them. And I know, like, the further into the book we get, the less clear it will be because one of the reasons that I had trouble with the rewriting is what was originally the end of the book became the, um, for Save the Cat, it would be the Dark Hand Soul. I don't know exactly what it is in the year's journey because I'm still kind of going through the outline outline structure thing <laughs> structure yeah so like and that was part of my issue like I didn't know how to bridge to where I knew the story needed to end from where I had ended it originally um so I'm hoping that just starting over helps with that but yeah so like the first half, half of the outline is probably gonna be really quick maybe three like half half to three fourths will go really quick and then when I get into the, the third act, I'm gonna be like, mm, I don't know, I don't know any of these things. Um, but yeah. So I've started with Keyleth, and um, 
like according to my list to my, my like what i need to get done this week that's all i'm working on this week but knowing myself i'm gonna want to work on the others that's not true i will also be working on a ribbon and raven did i say their names my bella story <laughs> spoilers i guess i don't know yeah um so this is a really long-winded like intro um so i'm gonna stop now and i will update tomorrow later on whatever about how plotting kilo is going or if i decide to switch over to somebody else hey guys um so it's been like i don't know 10 15 minutes since i recorded the first bit um but i've actually finished with act one um with the outline um can i try and show it to you no i'm not i'll record a second clip of the outline um it's it's actually way more than i was expecting um it's like over 500 words just for act one um and a lot of it's stuff that was in the old draft the old outline that i had that i'm just kind of like pulling from memory um but there's also like several things that are going to be new scenes that i added in this time and i'm like ooh, i like this oh i like this let's do more with this so um already like even in act one which i didn't think i was going to change at all i've well actually feel like i changed a good bit because i'm actually changing for act one ends so that's kind of interesting um yeah so um And that's the like, update. Um, it is like four o'clock in the morning. Um, I say that like I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not. Um, basically, my days and nights are reversed, so it's kind of like mid afternoon for me right now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna. I think call it on working keyboard for now though because I have done a lot. Um. A lot more than I actually thought I was going to do tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call that for the day for this. Um, and I'm not sure if next time I'm going to keep working on Kila or if I'm going to switch over to my fellow story or the other mod stories. Um, I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I will check back in later. Hi guys! Uh, new angle again. Um, Still working on Keyleth. I say still working. Um, this is still August 2nd. Um, I feel like I might plot her all in one day. Uh, maybe. Um, I just finished, I think I'm finished with Act 2. I'm not 100% sure because this is, again, this is where the original ending was. So it could change. Um, you can see over here. I have another angle so you can kind of see over here. Uh, oh, I lied. I still have one more scene in Act 2. So I'm not actually done, but I'm pretty close. Um, but um, as you can see, Act Two goes on forever, forever, which is pretty normal. Act Two is long, um, but I'm just like, oh wow, words. Um, I actually Act Two is 929 words for the um, outline, and I and again, that's minus actually one plot point. Because I forgot that was part of Act 2. I was already going to explain that in Act 3. Uh, but yeah. So I'm doing really good um, with plotting Keyleth. <laughs> this vlog may not be quite as. Ex it may not be a multi series, multi video vlog, or at least not as many as I thought originally. Um, we'll see. But I'm just. I'm really excited about the story and I'm adding in some new stuff for Keyleth that's got me like I want to start writing her again like right now but it's a problem because she's not on my list of stuff I want to do the week this week um she's not in my planner as one of the projects I'm working on as far as drafting this week so I'm like like I can change it I can but ah <laughs> but yeah um so yeah it's got me really excited about writing her again which is kind of what I wanted to happen from this plotting um exercise so wait on that um yeah i actually have to edit my video for tomorrow um 
the earliest I'm gonna post this video is like at the end of August, so the video I need to edit you will have seen like three to four weeks ago now. So yeah, um, that's all for this update. I will come back when I really finish Act 2 or get into Act 3. We'll see. Um, I don't know if that'll be today because like I said I have to edit a video and I need to do some drafting on one of the projects I'm actually supposed to be drafting this week. Um, but yeah. I'm really excited about Kilo again, and I love this feeling, and I will check in later. Hey guys, it is still the same day, um, on the second. Uh, just another quick update. I did 145 words, and I did fully finish Act 2 of Kilo now, um, and I'm really excited about it again, um, because when I got through the old ending. And I, th I feel like I have a clear idea now of where I'm actually going to go for the final act because before I just knew there was more to the story but I didn't really know where it was. But now I have like really solidified what I want to kind of um, get to in the third act. I now know that it's going to lead pretty directly into the um, another book in the series with um, Keyleth and her sisters. I, I realize I've reconfigured how the series of the modern are going to be set up, and basically Keyleth and her sisters are going to be their own series. Um, and so this is the way I'm going to end Keyleth's story is basically going to inform where Kenna's story begins, so that helped. So this whole pre-plotting thing actually helped in multiple ways. Um, so yeah, I did that earlier in the day, and it is about well, like 7 now, I think, 7.30, yep. Um, and I just did a little bit of work on my Bella story, um, basically just finishing the character questions that I do um, for one of my main characters. I have the main characters are twins, so there's two of them, and I'm gonna probably all of them are views, so I did 473 words of plotting on her or like character questions, which will then kind of inform my plot going forward. But um yeah. Like I just got so many so views um throughout camp. I definitely felt my like drive to write new words. Like editing, I, I did a good bit of um, writing new words. I was like, ah, I wanna. There are new. There are no no, no more new words. And I feel like I've kind of found those new words again, and I'm really excited. Of course, this is just one day. I have to wake up tomorrow and still be like, uh, -uh nope, done. <laughs> but I'm doing good today, and I got a lot done. Um, I've actually done two thousand. 80 words today, and that's all plotting, and it makes me really excited. Um, even though on both of these, I kind of want to like stop plotting and start writing, but I've done that with stories in the past where I haven't finished the plotting, and then I get to where I have this plotting, and I can't get back into plotting after I've already started writing the draft. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish, finish plotting before I start writing. Um, for for Hugh for sure. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. Fully outline the Bella story just because I kind of want to. I kind of want to um, write like maybe like five, five to eight chapters, and then go ahead and start posting it because I uh, the way I'm doing it right now, I feel like I'll be able to write and edit it fairly quickly. In order to like, I want to have some built up before I start posting it. I realize I'm at a weird angle. Sorry. I want to have some chapters built up before I have posting it, but I feel like if I wait until it's fully plotted, like, because I don't necessarily know how long it's going to be, um, particularly since I'm, I'm doing at least two point of views. So, like, yeah, I may not fully plot that one, but I will at least plot back one of those characters before I start writing. Yes, I have a little brain. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that is my update. 
this was gonna be like a week long walk or I, I don't know how long walk um, but uh got a lot of footage from this one. Anyway. Okay guys, so it is Tuesday, August 3rd, um, and I'm just gonna film a really quick outro for the first vlog of this, um, like, testing different plotting styles video, um, series that I'm doing, because I looked back through what I recorded yesterday, and it was, like, almost 30 minutes, and I'm like, yeah, that's probably plenty for one episode of, of a series of vlogs, so, um, that's gonna be that, um, so be sure to like if you enjoyed this video because it lets the algorithm know that you enjoy this video and somebody else might too. Wow, the lighting makes my eyes look so weird. Sorry, <laughs> I got distracted. Um, but yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe to see more of me. I post new videos every Tuesday. And um, also, comment down below about like your preferred fi fighting style. I mean, if you whatever I said, sure. Um, your preferred plotting style is what I meant to say. Um, and yeah, I will see you all next week with a new video. Bye.